In this video, I'm going to cover what is the difference between a Zoho CRM workflow and a Zoho CRM blueprint. The main difference between a workflow and a blueprint is the way that they are triggered. As an example, if you will see on my screen, I will have here a blueprint. Now, a blueprint is motivated by clicks. That means that in order for me to run an automation using a blueprint, the user must click a button and then something will happen. It might open a screen with questions. It might send an email, text message, shoot an API, run a function, million things. But the trigger is the user clicking on a button, okay? And let me go to the backend so you can see how the blueprint looks like when the developer is working on it. So you will see all the ways, you see? So you have here the blueprint, click on one of those transitions, the colored ones, will create the functionality and create the automation, okay? So a blueprint, is an automation that is being triggered by the user. A workflow will be an automation that is triggered in the background, which means no user need to click anything. The automation will be triggered by something that happens in the system. As an example, a lead is created, a lead is edited, a birthday field, is triggered because the birthday is today and therefore an email will be sent. So those will be automations that are running in the background based on the record itself. And let me show you around. So let's create a workflow for the lead system. So you will see that I will have here few options to trigger a workflow. One will be record actions, when a record is created, when the record is created or edited, when the record is just edited or deleted. So all those will be run in the background. You can also run the workflow based on any date or daytime field in the system, which means, let's say that I will have the birthday of the user, I don't have it here, but let's say the next follow-up. So when the follow-up, when the next time that I need to contact this person, this lead, then there will be an automation. And the last one will be based on scoring. So if you have scoring rules, which is awesome, you can also run it based on scoring rules. For example, when the lead will have enough score, which means is serious lead, then the salesperson will get a notification and will start working on the lead. So the main difference between a blueprint and the workflow automation will be the trigger and not the actions. The actions are almost identical. The trigger in the blueprint will be based on the user clicking on buttons and the workflow will be automation that's running in the background based on data or actions that are being taken on the record itself.